Easy, if you're watching this video, I want to tell you this. You are a beautiful woman, very strong, independent, hardworking, talented, skilled, funny, charming. You're all of that. But these tweets you made is what makes you ugly. Easy made a couple tweets. She may have been talking about me. She may have not. I don't know. But regardless, I fit in that category. What you new subscribers don't know is that I am uncensored. I say what's on my mind regardless of how it makes you feel. It might make you feel uncomfortable. It might get you upset. But I am not filtered and I do not kiss ass. I will always say what's on my mind. And I also encourage all of you to do the same. I don't and would never disable my comments. I want all of you guys to have an opinion. I want you to speak your thoughts just like I do. For all you new subscribers who don't know my channel that well, I am not just a reaction channel. I also talk on mental health. LGBTQ community. difficult to do that and not get judged for it. His t-shirt says, they killed Alexa, not a man in a skirt. If I had the platform that he has, that is most definitely something that I would have done. Black Lives Matter. <laughs> and I will continue to talk on sensitive topics. But I also do like to have fun and I do like to react to videos. I purposely react to YouTubers from the POC community. And I do this because YouTube has a tendency to only promote young white YouTubers. You can see just by scrolling down the trending section, which is why I react to Easy and Natalie. So we're gonna go ahead and read these tweets that Easy made. She goes off of impulse and she, she reacts emotionally. It didn't work for her in her personal life by doing that. And Easy, quite honestly, this is not the direction you want to go to as a public figure. But since you did it, y'all know I like to dissect videos, so we're gonna go ahead and dissect these tweets. So let's go ahead and start with the first tweet she made. For all the people bashing Natalie for finally posting a video on how she feels, 
knowing everything we said about her mental health. Shame on you. Now this is why I think it was about me because she decided to put in mental health and shame on you. As you can see in my video, I titled it Easy X Natalie and the Family Project Use Mental Health to Fool You. Shame on them. Kind of similar, isn't it? I am one of the few YouTubers that actually call out their bullshit and point things out. Now the mental health thing that she's talking about is the video that I posted and maybe this part is what bothered her. And you use mental health for this bullshit? Now there was a couple comments of people saying that, well, even if it's fake, at least they're giving awareness to mental health. How the fuck is this awareness? How is this awareness of mental health? They're using the term mental health to make you believe this story even more. That's a motherfucking problem. That's what I have an issue with. Because people like myself are actually going through some shit like that. Some real depression, some real anxiety. And not just people who, ha who are dealing with mental illnesses, but families that are around us also deal with it. But y'all gonna make this a fun situation, aren't you? I was empathetic with what Natalie was going through in the initial falling out that you guys had. The real falling out. When shit actually went down and she really was struggling with her mental health. Yeah, so since you don't know that, let me show you a clip. And so I just basically wanted to come out here and um, journal and meditate and like, listen to like some self-help stuff. Yeah. And just really like taking the vibe. There's not really anybody out here for anybody watching that are concerned about like our health or whatever. But yeah, it's just- Which I am because mental health is so fucking important. And that's why she went to Miami to get that alone time to like deal with all that. But if you're able to do it with your partner's support, then I'm all for it. I just want your mental health to be good, Natalie. That's all. That's all, Nat Nat. She also said a prayer and it helped so much, guys. It just, it takes the right people to be in your life to really care and to really want you to be better and do better. So when you, when you go through those episodes of depression, anxiety, or any other type of mental illness, you're, you're gonna go up and down a lot. And when you're down, you want the people around you to be patient, to be understanding. You don't even have to say a word. Just your comfort alone, your physical presence speaks a lot more louder than words. And from what it looks like, Easy was there for her, for Nana, when she had her little episode. So by all means, man, Easy, keep doing it. So yeah, I, I was supporting her and I also was supporting you quite honestly and it's evident but I'm not gonna support fake drama but I most definitely will call shit out. Let's just say that this whole drama that just happened recently was real. You are pointing the finger at the wrong people. Point the finger at yourself because this is your girl. If you cared so much about her mental health, you would not have put her through all this bullshit that you and Josh have put her through. All the fighting, putting your business on social media, making things a whole lot worse, keeping Natalie in the middle, making her feel worse about herself. Girl, you are her support system. You are her partner yet you are fucking with her mental health but yet you want to turn off the comments on your videos because you seem to believe that the viewers are at fault for what she's going through and then you point the finger at us reaction channels about what you are putting her through come on girl which way you want to take it do you really want to just either admit to the fact that this whole shit is fake or call it real either way it does not look good on you. Y'all all are sad and lame as fuck. Now my question here is easy. Why would you say that sentence literally right after mental health, shame on you? How does that make sense? You're calling people sad and lame as fuck? That sounds like you're attacking someone's mental health. You gotta practice what you preach, girl. Especially the Our Favorite Fans reaction pages. Okay, it might be about me. I am a reaction channel, but girl, if you calling me a fan, I am not. But I am a supporter. I am nobody's fan. We all bleed the same way, we all shit the same way, you feel me? So no, I am not a fan, but I am a supporter of you and Natalie and your work ethic. But if you want to call me your favorite, I'm cool with that too, girl. Oh, hold on though. Y'all got to promote since we're on my channel now. I'm a little thirsty, you know? Mm-hmm. Mm. Uh-huh. Ooh, that pop was good. 
ice cold. So let's move on to the next tweet. The only reason you're making money is because I decided not to claim your little couple hundred viewed videos. I find it very interesting that you capitalized I decided. I know you know this, but some of the viewers might not know. I have the right to do what I'm doing under the Fair Use Act. Let YouTube creators explain. In the US, content that might be considered fair use includes commentary, criticism, or news reporting. But if you decide to use content ID and claim my video, you have that right to do so. But I can also fight it if I choose to. So no, it is not your decision. It's not even YouTube's decision. So if you were to claim my video and I take you to court, it's actually up to the judge. YouTube creators, explain please. What is fair use? Fair use allows you to reuse copyright protected material under certain circumstances without getting permission from the copyright owner. Fair use is an exception to copyright law and is not determined by YouTube. Let me say that again. YouTube does not decide what is fair use and what isn't. Only the court can do that. Now, if you ever claimed my video, would I ever take you to court? No. No, I would not. I would not waste my time. So you can go ahead and claim my vids and make money off of me. I don't care. Money's not my motivation. By reading this though, you said a couple hundred viewed videos. Oh, she ain't talking about me and my Easy and Natalie videos. I'm actually in the thousands. I'm not in the hundreds. And quite honestly, most of my views don't actually come from Easy and Natalie. They actually come from Larray. As you can see here, the most I've had so far is the 22,000 views on Larray's video. So actually my views are on Larray. So if I wanted to keep making views, I would keep reacting to Larray. There's a reason why I stopped doing that. If you saw my last Larray video, I explain it. But here you are threatening smaller YouTubers. You're acting like a bully, Easy. That shit ain't cool. It just ain't, it doesn't look good on you. Just remember where you started. You started from zero. It's crazy because I don't understand what a rich YouTuber with 600,000 plus subscribers on her own channel and another 600,000 subs on their couple's channel is doing tweeting about little old me. And if it ain't me, any small YouTuber, what is you doing? Content creators don't need reaction channels. They don't need us, but they want us. We help promote them for free and it helps keep them relevant. They did their work all on their own. They got to where they're at because of their hard work. At the same time, you want your name to still be talked about. When your name is still around, that means you're relevant. That means you're still succeeding. People are still talking about you. So us reactors reacting to your videos, we're still doing word of mouth. If all of us reactors stopped reacting to you, give it some time, you will slowly, slowly fade away. You don't want that. That is the reason why you don't claim videos. Let's move on to the next sentence. So the least you can do is change up your worshiping strategy. <laughs> Hold on. Let me read that again. So the least you can do is change up your worshiping strategy. This woman is saying that us reactors worship her. Let's look up the definition of worship. The feeling or expression of reverence and adoration for a deity. You really think that highly of yourself? Count your blessings. God has blessed you with the life you have. As fast as he gave that to you, it'll be just as quickly for him to take it away. Don't shit on other people just because they don't have the money or the following on social media as you do. What is wrong with you? I am really disappointed. And I'm sure a lot of people are as well. And thank me for paying your bills. I'm supposed to thank you and other small YouTubers are supposed to thank you for paying us. There is nothing to thank, girl. My paycheck don't say Young Easy Vlogs and it don't say Easy X Natalie. Nah, girl, you're tripping, tripping. The company that pays you is the same company that pays me. And that's Google AdSense. Google AdSense pays me for my hard work, my commentary, my hours of filming, editing and uploading. That's what I get paid for. Now the amount that I get paid depends on my viewers. My viewers are the ones that help support my journey. Not you, girl, not you. I don't even get paid that much. I would not even be able to survive with YouTube checks. 
My ex-wife and I vlogged for two years without pay. No monetization. Then I created Bliss Uncensored and I just barely started getting paid about a few months ago. So my check from Google only pays one bill. <laughs> okay, I'm honest. I have a career. That's what pays my bills. I own this house. I own my car. I own everything that I have with the job that I work at. So now girl, no. It ain't you and it ain't even YouTube. I do this shit because I love it. My supporters are my motivation, not the money. Now if you being rich is what you consider to be successful, then good for you, I'm happy for you. But success is different to everybody. For me, finding true happiness is what success is. I struggle with mental health. I almost took my life last year. You know what I'm thankful for? I'm just happy to be alive right now. Let me tell you a little something. I grew up in a low income family. It was a family of of eight living in a trailer. But guess what? I didn't even know I was poor. The years living in that trailer are the best years of my life. And that's because I had love and family. Now I'm in a better situation, but I would never look down on people who live in a trailer right now. I wouldn't even look at them as if they worship me. What kind of person would I be if I said that? Or even thought that? So I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this up. Honestly, girl, I don't know what got into you to make those tweets. It was not a good look. I don't know why you're so mad. This is what I do. I react to videos. The way I would react at home behind closed doors is the same way I react in front of the camera. I'm an honest person. I am blunt to the people that I love and care about. So this ain't hard for me to do. If you don't like to hear that type of shit, don't watch my stuff, easy. It's okay to do skits, fake pranks, and all that stuff. There's nothing wrong with that, it's entertainment. I just like to point out the fuck ups, the parts where you slipped. Cause that's what I do when I watch movies, I do the same thing. Don't take it personal. But this right here, this whole family shit and mental health that you brought up, bothers the hell out of me. Especially when you got a young following and you're manipulating their minds. That bothers me. So yes, I'm gonna speak on it. And I still will continue to speak on it if you keep doing stupid shit like this. <laughs> Listen, easy. I got nothing against y'all. I'm still gonna react to you guys. I just had to say what I had to say on my side. I don't think you are a bad person at all. I don't think you have a bad heart. I don't think you have bad intentions. You just got emotional and you went off with your Twitter fingers. But you don't want this kind of look. Think before you do something. All right, y'all, let's move the fuck on, please. I hope Easy don't respond to this video because I'll be kind of dumb with her. <laughs> All right, you guys, tell me what you thought about my video. Make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe, and please hit that bell so you can get notified every time I upload. See you in the next video. Peace.